Okay, Mike, I'm going to walk you through the process that I use here, and uh, you can watch this and then uh, do some practice runs on your own, okay? So I log in here uh, to access our software. I happen to use Kushal's login. You should create your own. I think you have your own, actually. I do this because I'm, I'm doing testing, and, and there's some uh, uh, permissions associated with this one that I need. So use your own, log in. Uh, our account is this one here, Mindfire Inc., uh, underscore com 5325 and once you've selected that uh, you'll be logged in come over here to campaigns create a new campaign and use <clears throat> use drive traffic here use that blueprint if you don't uh, if you aren't familiar with these words just watch the the training and stuff inside um, the the help there uh, but we're going to create a drive traffic and we're going to name this uh, Master Graphics. Whoops. Master Graphics Webinar. I'm just going to say uh, uh, Touch One just for right now. Here we go. And the first thing I'm going to do now that I'm in the, uh, the uh, blueprint here is I'm going to configure the call to action. This is where we're going to be sending people. I have that link here. I'll, sh I'll tell you what this is here in a moment. This is the email copy that I've written. Um, but I'm going to grab that link out of there and I'm going to uh, put it in here. So typically what I do is I will uh, write my copy in Grammarly as if I'm sitting down and writing it directly to someone. Typically, I find that the engagement and the response and, you know, the value that the recipient gets is far better if it's written this way than if it's a stodgy, uh, you know, marketing speak kind of uh, email. So I, that's how I usually do it. I'm going to come in here, paste in that link. This is this is where we are sending people. This is where uh, folks uh, are going to go when they get the email. So I've configured that call to action. Now I'm going to come down here and configure the message. Here's the email. Typically what I do is I come over here and I, I use this handwritten version 3 template. This is the one I prefer to use. I want to make sure this is coming from me. So I go here. So the email is now coming from me uh, to the inbox that you monitor. I'm using uh, email version three, looks handwritten. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and enter the subject line. For, for the moment, what I'm going to do is something like this. Uh, Dave, uh, 3D printing, something like that to get attention. And then usually here in the pre-header, and by the way, if these words don't make sense, I think you know what a subject line is, right? That's pretty clear. If you don't know what a preheader is, Google that. You'll get some info on that. But in the preheader that shows up in the preview on your mobile device and in your um, inbox, I usually do something that looks pretty uh, uh, loose, so it looks real. Um, so it, it, it gets typically more engagement that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something like, um, I think this might be helpful to you, Dave. Uh, do you think you can make this meeting? Let me know and happy to get you a spot to the Zoom, something like that. And I intentionally make it look handwritten. I put the space before that question mark. I have that lowercase. Those are all intentional things that make it look real. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to where I've written my copy. And I'm going to take everything that I've written <clears throat> from this point up and I'm going to paste it in here. I usually do it in HTML mode. You'll just need to learn a couple of, if you want to mirror how I do it, you'll just need to learn a few basic HTML tags. So I'm going to put uh, two breaks right there. You can Google all this stuff. Um, pretty simple. Uh, there, 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 there there and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to do an unordered list we've got let's see how many people one two three four you can do all of these through the point and click interface I just prefer uh, e uh, HTML it uh, is my preference I'm going to put that one here I'm going to put this one here I'm going to put this guy here Peter, I'll put him here, okay? So now if this sounds useful to you, I'm going to put another break there. 
often what I'll do is I will um, make their names bold. I'm going to go ahead and do that for each one of them. And again, you can do this all through the point and click uh, view. I just prefer to do it in HTML. I'm just weird that way. <clears throat> okay, that's good. So now here it is. If this sounds useful to you. Now, again, another technique that I use is I actually will um, put this as the visible link here. This is the call to action. Uh, you could use that as a button. It could be a button, um, but I usually put the zoom link in there. Um, anecdotally, it seems to work better. We should probably test that. And now I'm going to grab the remainder of the copy that's below that and put it in right here and put in these little guys there, there, there. And then usually the PS I do in italics. So I'm going to move that over like that. And we should be good. I'm going to put one more BR there after here. Looks like I only did one. And then we've got that. And you know what? I'm going to put one more right here before this guy here. Bring that down. Okay. There's too many here. So I'm going to take the after my name. Oh, yeah. And remove those two since there's two already right here. All right. So there we go. I'm going to hit save. And then what I'm going to do offline for a moment, I'm going to pause the recording is I'm going to come here to test and I am going to send myself a variety of tests. I usually look at it on both my cell phone as well as in the uh, desktop email client just to make sure everything looks good. So I'm going to hit send test and I'm going to pause the recording for a second and then come back and show you if I make any changes. Okay, everything looks relatively okay. What I notice um, is that there is... Uh, too much space right here, I think. So I'm going to remove one of these BRs because an unordered list like we have here adds a little bit of space as it is. So I'm going to do that. And then the other thing is I'm going to let these uh, these bullets breathe a little bit. So I'm going to put a, uh, I think one BR there. Let me see how that looks. Nope, it's got to be two, I guess, unless I typoed that. Yeah, I think it's got to be two. So I'm going to do two there. And then I'm going to grab that for each one of them and just uh, paste it right in. And I think, whoopsies, what do we do? We have a typo somewhere here. Um, fix that. So that one we were going here. Um, just made a little typo there. Okay, let's take a look. Um, I think that should be good. And then I noticed the word or is missing here or just reply yes to this email. We'll get you signed up. Okay. So I th think that's good. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and I'm going to do one more test offline and then I'll come back and let you know if there's any other changes. All right. It looks like the only other thing that I need to do, um, is right here. I don't know why I deleted that a second ago. looks like I do need this, um, BR there, uh, like that. And I'm going to hit save. I'm going to do one more test to myself. Look at it on my cell phone. So you heard the sound. Um, and let's see here. It should come in on my phone. There it is. I see it. Um, and that looks good. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to um, hit the link just to make sure it goes to the landing page, which it did. All right. And one other thing, I'm just going to bold this right here. And so it's easy to do that like this and hit save. And there we go. All right. All right. It's looking good. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and uh, collapse this here and notifications and alerts. This section you can leave as it is. Um, that's all good in terms of scheduling the email, uh, let us do, I'm going to show you this here, typically for good engagement or something like this, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do all open. So anybody who's ever opened and I just remembered that I want to include the image that you guys made in this email. 
Sometimes I do it here at the top. Other times, again, to be a little different, I put it at the bottom. So I'm going to put it here. And uh, let me so show you how I typically do that. Um, I'll come over here to Assets. And I have it here somewhere. I think I just downloaded it a second ago. Uh, where is my finder? Okay, yep, here it is. There it is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it into uh, the content section here. I'm going to go ahead and upload. Let's see, do you have it here? No, it doesn't look like it's in here yet. I'm going to go ahead and upload it. Where is it? There it is. And there she is. I'm going to come over here and grab the location reference to it. Come back here to the campaigns. Go into the campaign. Uh, I'm going to edit it. Continue to use the blueprint editor. And come back into the message itself, which is here. And then I'm going to go down to the spot where I think I want to put it. And let us remove that crap right there. I'm going to go ahead and move these uh, after the italics. And now again, this is just simple uh, HTML. Nothing. Uh, whoops. I lost the reference to it. Let me go and grab that again. And link a new tab. Come back. Whoops. Uh, where is the assets? Here. Go back and get that little pesky URL, which is right here. And there's multiple ways to do this. I'm just showing you how I do it. I'm going to go ahead and paste that back in here. And with equals, equals 100% done. And now we should be able to see that sucker right there. All right. Uh, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the link here. Oops. Grab that, copy and paste it, and I'm going to make this link to that uh, registration as well. So I'm going to edit the image, um, image linked to that, and hit apply. Save, and since I just did this, I'm going to test it one more time, and I'll come back and let you know if there's any other changes that I want to make. All right? Uh, whoops, I usually use this email address of mine here. So let me test that, see how it looks. I'll be right back. Alrighty, looks good to go. So um, I'm going to go ahead and collapse that, come back here, finish the scheduling. We're sending it to everyone who opens. So I'm going to say this is all opens here and do that. And I'll go ahead and do it for today. And uh, 752, that's in one minute. That's fine. Go ahead and click save. Yes. And I'm going to go over into Ring Central and just notify you that the message will go out shortly. This is typically what I do so that you know that it's, it's coming. Um, okay, I'll come back and look at that in a second. The Master Graphics email is going out within the next five minutes, and I'll upload the video to YouTube shortly. There we go. Move that over here. And that's it, man. Uh, I have another video like this of a similar process. Um, let me find that one as well. I'll pull that together and then. Uh, you can go and watch the other training videos and um, look into those few HTML tags that I use, the BR, the image SRC, the uh, I for italics, and so on. Those are very simple commands. You can also do it through the rich text editor that's in here. Um, so multiple ways to do the same thing. That's just how I happen to do it. All right, man. Thank you. Bye.